You're joking, aren't you? It's the Teesside Chef. Classic German Zimpsteiner or Cinnamon Stars recipe here, and these are more traditionally Christmassy than bickering with your extended family or photocopy in your bum cheeks at the office Christmas party. So first off, we need to get 160 grams of icing sugar, powdered sugar, and we're going to give that a good sifting, and we're making a soft royal icing here, I suppose, even though Germany became a republic in 1918, or 1919, depending on which definition of a republic you choose to use. So for that we need 60 grams of egg whites, which is roughly two egg whites. And if you're weighing all your other ingredients, you might as well weigh your egg whites, but I mean, you don't have to be exact with these. And a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar if you've got it, but if not, don't worry about it, it's near enough. So whisk these egg whites up to the frothy stage first with a hand mixer or a whisk and start slowly because you don't really want to beat large air bubbles into this really. And as it's coming along we get our icing sugar on standby and as you whisk you can add a tablespoon of icing sugar and beat that in every time to incorporate before adding another one. But we don't have to be too technical here because we're not making a meringue or anything like that so just get it fired in there. And if you're getting a bit sick of doing this or you need the toilet and have to get it boxed off in a hurry just pick it up and tip the rest of it in your bowl and keep whisking until it's incorporated. It'll probably be near enough. And you're looking for the mix to be thick enough that it doesn't all spread everywhere when you pour it. So lift some of it up and let it trickle off your whisk and it should hold its shape for a bit before settling down slowly. And once that's all done, we need to take out around 50 grams of this mix now because that's going to be our icing for the top of these Zimsterner. And 50 grams will be about two and a half tablespoons of this and that'll be enough to ice all of these biscuits we're making here. Plus you'll have a little bit left over extra, just in case you balls your first few up and you need to do them again. And we're going to be great at multitasking here because the rest of this here is going to be using our biscuit mix along with 240 grams of ground almonds and use the ones with the skins on if you can. And I like to go in with a generous quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt now, along with two heaped teaspoons of cinnamon powder and a teaspoon of orange zest. And now we can give all that a really, really good stir. Now I like the little bit of extra salt in this recipe. Traditional recipe would only have a pinch of salt in really, but I think the extra salt really gives an extra dimension to these Zimsterner. And you can make this recipe your own with other ingredients, a tablespoon of liqueur, or Baileys. Yeah, Baileys would be nice. So now I'm going in with my hands and I'm giving it a good knead to bring it all together. And you have to check at this point whether it's moist enough. You don't want it to be cracking when you're mixing it in your hands. But if it is, either chuck it in the bin or add a tiny little bit of water to it like I do, and it'll be fine. And I'm going to wrap this in some cling film now and get it in the fridge for about half an hour, because that'll make it easier to roll out later on. You don't have to do this, like, if you don't want to. I mean, I'm not the boss here. You can choose your own path, can you? I'm just trying to make your life easier, you know? So while that's in the fridge, I'm going to dust my work surface now with some sifted icing sugar. And hey, let's give the top of the door good dusting as well so it doesn't... Stick to everything, because it is a pretty sticky dough, to be honest. And it will stick to your rolling pin like glue if you don't have a good dust and the powdered sugar on your mix here. And then we can just roll it out to the thickness of about half a centimetre, because we're using the European metric system. But if you're using the crazy imperial system, I can't really help you. And I'm just tidying the edges there before I start to cut these out. And to make my life harder, I'm using a star cutter with six points. But if you've got any sense, you'll use one with five. And if you find that your cutter is sticking, just dip it in a little bit of icing sugar. That might help you a little bit. But these might still be a little bit tricky to cut out at times. A bit of gentle persuasion from your finger should do the trick to get these out of the cutter, though. And I'm dead clever, and I've cut them all out smashing, and I'm going to repeat the process with my excess dough, because we don't want to waste any of this. And once you've taken care of all your excess, you can get them on your baking tray. They are stable enough to be handled at this point. They're quite sturdy and dry, so just pick them up and get them on there with your hands. And the amounts in this Zimtsterner recipe fit perfectly on a standard oven tray. Well, almost, because look, there's a spare one here. And hey, I don't want to body shame it, but it's a bit thin, so I'm not going to put it with the rest of them. I'm just going to eat this one raw. And it's really, really tasty, that. So now comes the complicated bit, because we need to ice these now. And this will take a bit of time, so let's get our icing mix in and give it a good stir. And don't be scared of you, but start off slowly, a small dollop of icing in the middle, and I find a teaspoon is the best way to gently spread this icing into each point of the star. And you can see now why using a star cutter with six points is an absolute nightmare for me, because it's taken me 16.6 recurring percent more time to ice all these Christmas cookies here, if my maths is correct. 
But it's all good, you know, because I've got nothing else better to do. And this is really great to do with kids as well, because you can get them to do this instead of you, and that'll free you up to do all manner of more interesting things. And hey, don't be scared to put a few little sprinkles on top of you, if you like, eh? You could also put some ground coffee on top of you, or a little bit of orange zest. Eh? I'm full of ideas, me, you know. And they're going to go in a preheated oven, now 135 degrees Celsius fan set in for 16 minutes. And when they come out, they won't look that much different to when they went in, but I promise you, I did bake these. And they smell amazing, and the cinnamon flavour is fantastic, and these really are unbelievable Christmas treats. And the only thing left to say now is, if you celebrate Christmas, have a great one, everyone. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, have a great time anyway. Thanks for watching, everybody. And hey, all the best to you and yours, eh? Catch us next time. Sarah.